and they gave me this custom shell. All I needed to purchase was a 330 resistor and oddly enough, the hardest part of this build, some screws. To save anyone else that happens to have one of these 3D printed cases some headache and trouble, try an M2.5 by 12 screw. Let's get this out of the way early. This isn't exactly a beginner friendly mod. You're gonna have to do some soldering. Specifically, that 330 resistor, it's super teeny tiny directly onto the motherboard. Otherwise, the screen will flash white, but not actually turn on. Now, it's not impossible, but it is small and delicate work. If you're not comfortable with the soldering iron yet, this might not be the best first project, but you've got a bit of modding under your belt. This one is incredibly rewarding. Once I got the shell open and removed the top screen, I soldered the resistor into place and transferred the internals to this nifty blue shell. Oh my. I took my time aligning everything, the buttons, the screen, the speaker, because a clean fit makes all the difference. If it fits, it sits. Up next, I loaded up an absolute hidden gem summon night to test everything and boom, it works. Game Boy Advance games play great. The screen is crisp and vibrant. And it feels like a weird hybrid if the Game Boy Advance and the Game Boy Micro, Micro had a weird square flat baby. Now, you can't play DS games anymore, but that's kind of the point. This is life advanced. Now, before we wrap up, I want to give a proper shout out to the sponsor of today's video, PCBWay. You know, I think this bit's running old. I think we're going to be done with this. But if you're into DIY electronics, game console mods, or custom handhelds like this one, PCBWay is seriously one of the best tools you can have in your arsenal. They specialize in high quality PCBs, prototyping, and manufacturing. And if you're someone who loves experimenting with microcontrollers, mod chips, or even building something totally custom, this is your playground. They also offer assembly services, so if you got a design in mind but don't want to solder a thousand teeny components yourself, yeah, they'll do it for you. And it doesn't stop there. They've got 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and even injection molding. So whether you're building a one-off handheld, designing a flash cart, or just working on a cool Flipper Zero add-on, PCBWay is perfect for tuning your ideas into reality. 